Hi, I'm Dexter Henry. Welcome to St. Francis College, and this is the NEC Tournament Preview Show for our women's basketball team. And I'm joined by head coach John Thurston of the Terriers here, and he's going to talk to me a little bit about basketball, the playoffs this season, so we have a lot to get into. John, first of all, how are you doing as the team prepares for their opening round game against Bryant at NEC Tournament? Well, I mean, this is, uh, this is the fun time of the year. It's the, it's the time of the year you prepare for all year. Um, you hope that you're playing your best basketball. You know, we, what we try to do, the, my philosophy is, is to uh, make sure you're not overworked at, at this time of the year so that uh, you're mentally fresh. I, I think that's really important because it is such a long season. Um, there's a lot of pressure throughout the year to, I think, to get to the playoffs. Yeah. That's where the main pressure is because every game – as you know, in our league, the yeah. standings get turned upside down every single game, every Saturday and Monday. So uh, the pressure is to get to the playoffs, and I really believe that once you get to the playoffs, you should uh, you should enjoy it. You know, it should be a fun experience, and because uh, the pressure's off. You got here now, and and if you're if you're playing well and uh, your your team is fresh. You know, then you have a chance to you have a chance to do something, and that's that's what we hope for. Talk about getting here. This has been an incredible journey for for the uh, team over the last two years. This program has really turned it around this year. Coach, most wins in program history. I'm sure you're very proud about that and what what you've built here. The journey to getting here to the playoffs ha has it been as enjoyable for you as us we who've watched it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 not easy. There's a lot that goes into it in establishing your philosophy. Of, uh, recruiting and yeah. scouting and um, you know managing the, your you know how you want your your program run so there's a lot more in, uh, that goes into it than you see uh, you know when we're actually hit the floor um, you have to have I feel at St. Francis you have to start out with the idea that that you have great kids who are willing to work very hard uh, who are willing to listen and I think I think we have that um, we have a great a great core of, of of kids that are tremendously hard workers both on and off the court uh, and we purposely built our program that way um, one of our goals is to be the, the, the number one team in the country academically uh, uh, that's as big a goal as than as any that we have as far as basketball go, goals that's the only thing we talk about in the beginning of the year we don't talk about you know, getting to the NCAA or winning the NEC. That's our main goal. Uh, and then we try to constantly build uh, to work to get better. And I, I, I think we've done that. There's always bumps in the road because it's such, a, uh, it, it's such a tough process and everybody else wants exactly the same thing right. that, that you want. Uh, and this is a very even league with a lot of parity, uh, I think, from top to bottom. So it's been especially gratifying uh, to uh, to see something work, to see some of the players who have who have blossomed in the last two years, uh, and to do things here that really no one thought you could do. Mm. Uh, it, 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 you know, to get to 19 wins, if you look at St. Francis historically, was not really a possibility, uh, but we did it, and and uh, I, I'm really proud and happy for the girls. I think they they've done a tremendous job. They definitely have, and the girls have definitely been happy this year. I felt a lot of the excitement around here, John. And let's talk a little about your first-round matchup. You'll be playing Bryant, a uh, team that you've obviously played uh, th through the season. What do you think of the matchup? I know you like your chances with, with your team, but what do you think of this matchup in the first round against Bryant? Well, first of all, I, I believe that we're at a point in our program now where we can, we can believe that we can win any night. That was one of the first things that we had to establish. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you could win every night. You know, a few years ago when I came here as an assistant, it was, you know, can we stay close? Hmm. You know, can we just be close? And now I believe that our, our players think that they can win any night going out. There are some teams that have tough matchups. Uh, some teams, uh, because of the way of their style of play, uh, can be a little bit more difficult, but we've we've had very close games with with Bryant. You know, we beat them up there last year with basically the same personnel. 
We lost by three up there this year and then lost by five at home uh, and really had chances to win at the end of, of both of those games. So they're, they're two uh, on paper and historically even matched teams. Right. And, uh, you know, what it comes down to is what it, and what it always comes down to at this time of the year is making open shots. You know, we know we're going to get some open shots. They're going to get some open shots. Uh, and, and generally the team that can knock down the open shots at this time of the year has a chance to win, regardless of whether you're playing a home or away. Uh, we, we try not to make too big a thing out of that, uh, you know, and, and, and that's why we, for the most part, we play pretty well on the road. We don't make a big thing out of either at home or being on the road. So, You guys have you guys have played pretty well on the road, and you excellent at home this season. Was it a little bit disappointing for you and, and the girls that you didn't get a home game here in front of the Terrier fans to play in the postseason? If you remember back at Media Day when we talked, actually, yeah, I remember, I remember, and remember, I, I, remember I said to <laughs> you that the, the, the NEC tournament will be decided on the last Monday of the season. You did, and, you definitely said that. And There's everyone no that. everyone thinks looks at you like you're crazy when yeah. you say that because you know you at that time everything is done on paper. Mm -hmm. Who looks good, you know, who, who's going to be the first place team, who's who's at the bottom. And that's what happened. I, I mean, on the last Monday, everything from 1 through 7 was decided on that Monday. No doubt. Uh, so, you know, everything has to go right for you. Um, if you look at our season, we lost three games in, in overtime that those games obviously could have gone either way. One, a free throw here, a made shot here, a missed shot by them mm -hmm. right? uh, could have put you in e easily tied for first place. So you, you look at, you know, as a coach, you go back and you look at it from did you have a chance to win? So you take those three overtime games, uh, the three-point loss at Bryant, there's four games there, and we won ten. So, you know, you, you had a chance to be up there, you know, compete. You were good enough to compete for the championship. But in the game of basketball and basically in all sports, it comes down to a game of inches. Yeah. Uh, you know, one inch makes the difference between a shot going in and a shot missing. For those that haven't watched the Terriers this year, uh, one of the standout players, she's did a great job. She came off the bench for you a, t a ton, John, was Sarah Benedetti. Um, she has a great ability to knock down shots anywhere on the court. She always amazes me. How big has she been in the confidence? We talked before about other players on the team being able to shoot well when one person shoots well on this team. We've seen it night in and night out. How big has she been in sparking some of the other girls to be confident with their shooting? Well, first of all, we consider we consider Sarah a starter. We, you, you're, the rules say you have to start five. Right. But we consider, just like, as we do with Jazz, we consider her a starter. So we consider ourselves a team that really has seven to eight starters. Um, they just happen to not be on the court at the, at the opening tip. Um, Sarah is one of those shooters that when she gets on a roll, uh, it, it, it lifts everyone up yeah. uh, uh, because she has the ability to make two or three in a row and she can knock down you know, uh, three threes in a minute. Uh, not many people in the league can do that because they don't have the range that she has. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that really picks people up is that when she makes those shots uh, beyond the range of the defense, it takes a little bit of pressure off everyone else. Um, uh, you know, I think the same can be said when, when Ailey is making shots early, mm -hmm. that picks other people up. Uh, and, and that's the way, that's the way this, th this team is. Um, uh, uh, Sarah's you know, not many people realized this year that uh, Sarah was battling mono at the beginning of the year. She didn't practice in the preseason. Uh, then she had the bad ankle injury at the LIU game, and that really bothered her for a couple of weeks. So I think she had a tremendous season, um, uh, given the fact that she had some physical uh, ailments yeah. throughout the year. So, uh, but there's no doubt when Sarah's Sarah makes it very difficult on the defense. Uh, when she's when she's making shots because they can't get out to her, and th and then they have to play or they have to open up the middle of the court, and that opens it up for everybody else. Sarah's definitely a player to watch in the first round opening game against Brian. Once again, I'm Dexter Henry, joined by head coach John Thurston here in the NEC tournament preview show. John, a couple more questions. 
first of all, when we, we look at uh, to some of the other players and the great moments that you've had this season, if you had to pick one from this season, because I've enjoyed watching you guys this season, what has been the most enjoyable moment or most enjoyable win you had during the regular season to get to this point? Well, I, I, you know, I think the players were, I guess we would go back uh, really to the beginning of the year, our opening game mm. when uh, we beat Penn at Penn, and Penn is now – uh, in first place in Ivy League, That's right? Um, and I remember how excited the kids were there. Uh, we didn't know Penn would be that good at that time, and you know we're coming from St. Francis, and there was a there was a men's game right after that, so the the place the palestra was packed, mm. and you know as we're walking out, people were asking us if we were the St. Francis from Pennsylvania, <laughs> and we said no, New York, and we're looking, we're walking by the football stadium, and we're saying, this is a pretty good win for us, uh, mm. and then we came back and beat Army, and Army's up, has already has 21 wins, and is up in the top of the Patriot League, uh, when we went down to Miami, played great against uh, University of Miami, yes. and then beat Hartford, which uh, was a perennial mid-major power, and uh, that made that trip uh, great. Uh, and then I think the, the 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 next one would be the the win at the Barclays Center, because the players mm. were so excited to play there, and and we not only uh, won the game, but we won the game big. Yes. So it, and we had a big crowd and a lot of fans, and uh, so that was a great feeling there. And then obviously at the uh, at the tail end of the year, beating Robert Morris at home. That was a big uh, win, and, and yeah, and and uh, and playing really well in a in a in a really close game, and with some really big plays coming down the stretch. So, uh, it's more than one game; it's multiple highlights. Uh, it's just been, uh, as I think back on it now, it's it's been a great ride this year, and and I, and I know the girls have really enjoyed it. No doubt about it. It's been a great ride this year. If you have, if you miss some of the games, you can catch them on NEC Front Row. All the games are still archived. Tons of great wins for the Terriers. Last question, John. You talked to me, you said that making shots is key to winning any game. It's key, definitely key in the postseason. Can you give me some other keys besides making shots that are going to be instrumental for you guys to pick up the win against Bryant? Well, as we've talked with the girls yesterday, uh, you know, we're the number one defensive team in the league. We're the yes. number one in points allowed, number one in field goal percentage, number two in three-point field goal percentage defense. Um, but we have all noticed that we've slid defensively mm. um, we've gotten to the point where uh, and which basically is a thing that happens in college basketball as you go through multiple scouts night in and night out um, we've, we've see that we've lost some of our aggressiveness and we're following people around so we've talked a lot about in the last couple of days getting more aggressive on the defensive end and uh, instead of following them and just reacting to what they do to be a little bit more proactive uh, to make Bryant have to think a little bit more. Uh, we just don't want to come back in and, and sit back and pack it back in. Um, and, 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 you know, on, on, the, on the offensive end, because Bryant presses, yeah. um, you have to make sure that, first of all, that, that you're attacking. Um, and I thought in the, in the Bryant game last week, yeah. uh, we were content to get the ball over half court. When we played LIU two days later against exactly the same press with more athletic players, we attacked and we looked much better. Mm. So if we can have that mentality of attacking the press, uh, then the good shots will come. And if you, if you take good shots, and, and this, this team in the 41 years that I've coached um, has fewer what you call bad shots than mm. any team I've ever coached. Uh, rarely do they take a bad shot. So if you attack and you get good shots, uh, you know, then if, you know, if the stars are aligned and it's, <laughs> and it's meant to be, we'll knock them down. I mean, that's just the way it is. So quality shots, aggressive against the trap, intensity on defense, and like you always say, you got to make shots. Got to make shots. Those are the keys from uh, head coach John Thurston. John, thank you for joining me here. Next up, we will have Michael Garay, who will talk to two of the players who've been in this program for four years, uh, Jasmine Robinson and Kylie Grabby. He'll be talking to them here on the NEC Tournament Show.